doesn't mean that you should be able to encourage other people to be obedient to that. Moses failed in obedience to God. God said, speak to the rock. Then he couldn't speak to the rock. He used a stick and hit the rock, and water came out. And God was upset with Moses and cut short his ministry. The fact that your ministry was cut short didn't go to the length that God wanted you to go to originally. That's what you should encourage Joshua. He said, he's strong. He's strong, Joshua. He said,
And then when you ask, you say, oh, I'm full of the word, I'm full of the word. And you see, the honest truth is that, if we all be honest, he sits down and learns, learns the preaching. I'm telling you. But I can't tell you that it's a walking Bible. I give God glory for that. One day I was sitting in Leeds and I asked him that. So, like, is it 14? Like, no, is it 14? I will quite so stage. I said, ah! help who inherits madam the earth cannot take it you see now there are windows there are four windows four scriptures four points but it's three yay four three is cardinal and then an extra bonus one so always tell yourself that i hear i remember three i'm teaching on the word i'm teaching on the word the effects of the word there are three cardinal scriptures i'll use proverbs three I'll use Deuteronomy 4 and I'll use 2 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 3. The word. I'll be okay. I can preach on these three points for one for one hour. Mm. Yes, Deuteronomy 4, 5. My preaching. I've taught you statutes. Deuteronomy 4, 5. I've taught you statutes, judgments, as the Lord commanded me that you should do in the land where you go to possess it. That's fine. This. Keep there and do them for this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom. In the sight of the nations of the world. I'm teaching on the word. These are my three scriptures. Number one, the word is your wisdom out there in the world. Dear friend, when you go to work, the word is your wisdom. How will you, pro- how will you be promoted at work? The word is your wisdom. How you get wealthier? The word is your How you build a house? The word is your wisdom. Not in church, in the nations of the world. In the side, you know, that's point one. Point two, the word will ensure your happiness, peace, and pleasantness in life. Proverbs chapter 3. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. Happiness. Her paths are peace. The word is your peace. You want peace in your marriage? Follow the word. Don't just marry anyone. Let the word guide you to who to marry. You have peace. 
Her ways are ways of pleasantness. You want a pleasant girl? Follow the word. You want a pleasant life? Follow the word. See, I've got my three scriptures. Yeah, it sounds powerful. Isn't it? Yes. And number three, the word will lead to your spiritual maturity. Second Timothy 3, 15. And that's from thy youth. Thou hast known the holy scriptures. And from thy, and from thy, you were a child. And you've known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise. From thy, from thy, actually from a child. It's actually said, from a child. A child, a what? A child. That was in 15. 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction, and in righteousness. 17. That there, how did he become a man? He was a child in 15. The word happened in 16, and by 17, he was a man. The word of God is making you a perfect man, a mature man. In Jesus' name. These are my three points for today. I didn't use notes because I remembered three scriptures. Oh, I'll be okay. At least for the word, I'll be okay. And if you press me for a fourth one, I'll take you to Proverbs chapter one, Psalm 1 verse 1. Sorry. Psalm 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man that standeth not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2. But his delight, what makes him happy is a message. What makes him happy is a quiet time. He shall be, these are the blessings of the man of the word. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. A man who is full of the word is planted by everything he needs. The only thing a tree needs is water. Water running next to it. When you are planted by the word, you are planted by everything you need. Your prosperity is in the word. Your wife is in the word. Your future is in the word. Your wisdom is in the word. Your life is in the word. Bible says in Proverbs 3, she's a tree of life to all those who retain her. Your life is in the word. Shall be like a tree planted by the rest. His leaves shall not wither. He shall bring forth fruit in his season. Now this is the blessing of Jeremiah 17. When he says, blessed is the man whose trust is, who, who trusts in the Lord and whose hope, whose, whose, whose hope the Lord is. He shall not see when he cometh. These are talking about two seasons. When it is time to bring forth fruit, you bring forth fruit. But when it's time for his leaves to wither, his leaves will not wither. The word of God will keep you in season and out of season. The word of God will keep you when it's COVID lockdown and when, it's, when we are all let out of our houses. The word of God will keep you when you are sad and when you are happy. The word of God will keep you when you are a student and when you are a worker. He will make you bring forth fruit in season and your leaves will not wither when it's out of season. And finally, whatsoever... What I don't know what you are doing in your life. What are you up to? What are you doing? But when you are a man of the word, everything you are up to will prosper. I'm blessed though. As I'm preaching, I'm blessed. Everything you are doing will prosper. I'm blessed. That's I'm preaching. I mean, I'm That's bonus four. Yeah, four. We can go to five. Joshua one eight. If you remember your points and your scriptures, remember your points and your scriptures. Remember your points and your scriptures. Remember your points. Remember your points and your scriptures. Remember your points and your scriptures. You always be able to preach. What are your scriptures on the word? You should know. When we finish Joshua one eight, for then, then thou shalt. Be. Is your way prosperous? Are you finding good success? I advise you to meditate. But the Lord, what does meditate have to do with my job? I'm a seamstress. Oh. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 7. We speak the wisdom of God. It's mysterious. It's mysterious. I don't know. In a way, I can't explain. It's mysterious. But all I can tell you is that it's ordained, designed, fashioned, made for your life to be glorious. Don't you enjoy the word? Mm. Now, your verses on the Holy Spirit. What are your verses on the Holy Spirit? Like, when you are going to teach on the Holy Spirit, what are the way will you start? Three points? I don't know why I should share... I already feel like I've given you all my word. I mean, if I have to preach on the word next Sunday, I'd like, I have to now. Just, I didn't do series, you see? I've yeah, broken it. <laughs> uh-huh. So that the oil will not stay. Mm, but I said, find all the verses in the town. I can't use only one verse and pour. You're overflowing. Oh, oh. You should have. There are empty verses at the back. Mercy. 
So personal, so personal. Number what? Number what? <laughs> number three. Are you there or you're not there? Are we on number three or number two? Number three. That is a blessing. It's a very low blow, but what you do? Constantly soak in teaching tips that are unrelated to your Sunday sermons. That are what? Luke 2, 46. And it came to pass after three days, they found him sitting in the temple, sitting in the midst of doctors, both hearing and asking them questions. This had nothing. They didn't know anything about Jesus' ministry. Nobody knew who was the Messiah. Nobody knew about the cross. The sins he's coming to take away. But he was listening to their messages. And it's a blessing. The Bible says, in the morning, sow your seed. And in the evening, we throw not your hand. Don't know which one will bless you. So don't only listen to things that you are going to preach. Listen to different things. You don't know which one will bless you. Keep sowing to yourself. Sow to yourselves in righteousness. You know, the scripture says that a, a good tree, help me Holy Spirit, a good tree out of the treasure bringeth forth good fruit, I think. I wish you helped me. I'm sure she will. A good tree. Who is helping me? Find it for me. A good tree. A good tree. A good pastor. A good pastor. Out of what? The, the, the treasure. Oh, nobody's helping me. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Matthew seven seventeen. I hear. Matthew said, good. A good tree. No, no, no. Wrong. No, wrong. It's not Matthew seven seventeen. See, I should have memorized this point. There were only four. But it's not one of my scriptures. What? You see, if you have memorized the scriptures. Are you listening? Are you sleeping on me? I'm not responding to you. I said, are you listening? If I had memorized the scripture, I would not be relying on projector. Matthew twelve thirty five. Good. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart. But there's one about a good tree also. But that's fine. Luke what? Luke 6.45. Try that one. No, Luke 6.45. Luke 6.35. A good man. Hmm. Okay. 6.43. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Yeah, let's, let's stay with this one. A good man out of the treasures in his heart. You see, you must have treasures in your heart from different messages and different books and different camps and different things. You see, you'll be surprised the day that you share on truly. You'll be shocked. Yeah, yeah, it may not be now. It may take you seven years. Seven years from now, you'll be preaching. Realize that I have some treasure be from some camp in Mampo. Then you bring out of the treasure, you select from the treasure, and you bring forth that which is good. For in the abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak. So there must be many things in your heart. Treasures and scriptures and things. And you bring out different ones. That's a real preacher. It just brings out. I never forget the day that the prophet just stood up and said, How are the things of Esau searched out? Hey, where from this one? Where did this one come from? He has treasures. Girls, just like your little box in your house. Based on the event, you bring out the necklace or the earrings or the... Sometimes it's not even for your mother, but you know that this is a serious program. I need a treasure box. And then based on what you already know, like you are now going shopping. That, 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 there's a jewelry box. So you go to your mother's room or, or the shoe rack. Based on treasures you already have. Because you bought a shoe that wasn't related to the dress you were wearing the day you bought the shoe. But you knew that maybe one day or at one time I may need a shoe that's red and blue. I can't see now. I don't even have a dress that's red and blue. But let me buy a red and blue shoe in case. Hey, you have to be listening to different things. Listening to different things. Yeah. Me, mom, you shouldn't share with me that I'm listening to something. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at that. If it's powerful, if I'm not blessed, I'll leave it with you. But if you share with me and I'm blessed, yeah, I'm going to listen to it. I like messages. Like what I'm listening to now has nothing to do with transforming Pastor Ruf. Nothing at all. But it has featured. Oh, yes, what I'm listening to has featured. By all means. Out of my treasures, I have treasures. 
been 10 years of listening to my spiritual father. For my homies. You don't have anything to put on, open the voice, empty. You have one earring, the other one is lost. Be filled with treasures. In Jesus' name. And finally, number four, teach regularly. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort. Now look at this with a long suffering. A long time of it. Long time of preaching. We need to preach a lot. And I told you, as when it comes to spiritual things, Hebrews 5.14, it belongs to those, in fact, in fact, this verse actually about teaching. Hebrews 5. It says, verse 12, I think. Uh, for when for the time you ought to be teachers, you had need that another person to teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have become like such as have need of milk and not strong meat. 13. For everyone that uses milk is not skillful in the word. It's not skillful. Verse 14. For strong meat or skillful preaching belongs to those who are mature, full age. Even those who, because of preaching a lot, by reason of using the skill, they've developed this. He's talking about teaching. They've developed their senses to discern this is a good way to preach, this is an evil way to preach, this is a good way to put this, this is a better way, this is not a good way to teach this. this your discernment of even what to do comes from the how many times you've preached. Or you've not preached the point halfway to you realize that it doesn't make sense. All media has happened to me now. It's like healing. It's like, it's like a miracle service. The road, the road to blind eyes being opened is littered with many headaches. Many headaches and uh, and, uh, um, and 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 two takes. Yes. Yes. The road to blind eyes being opened. It's littered. But before the anointing opens blind eyes, it gives liberty to captives. It heals broken-hearted people. Before it gets there, it preaches the gospel to the poor. That's, there's, a, there's a road. Oh. You have to use, Lord, hey, you have to preach a lot. Too. Like, there must never, every Sunday, you must feel I've preached three sermons, minimum. Minimum. Like, when I met these leaders and these leaders, these three groups, and how I preached, like, I could have preached, like, like Daddy has finished ISI, says I should share something in the morning session, and gave me the mic. That's how I prepared. I write the outline, we'll preach on this, these are the points, and these are the scriptures. Then, when it gets to that week, I restudy my own outline. Like, I study my outline. So I preach like a convention in my church on Sunday. Yes, you must all preach. Three, like Sunday, that is should be the only person who preached though. When he finishes preaching to all of us, it's your turn. Everybody here must have at least three services before you close. Three teachings, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, one hour, whatever it is, according to our time table. To set at liberty them that are bruised. It comes from experience. Hey. Hey. If you want to be good at chasing girls, what do you do? Practice. Practice makes perfect. Don't be stupid. When I came to the camp, the pastor said, I should. <laughs> if you want to be good at singing, what do you do? What do you do if you want to be good at singing? Practice. If you want to be good at dancing, what do you do? Well, sometimes that one. Uh, I've practiced, I've practiced now. I've stopped now. It doesn't work for me. It's fine. Are you blessed by the four ways to augment your teaching ministry? So now, we've done a lot of powerful chapters, blessings. I, mean, I don't know why you even come, because we could have all read through. But 
We've done 15 keys to become a successful teacher of the word. Four reasons why every pastor should see the congregation as God's garden. Seven reasons why a pastor should teach in series. Four keys to augment your teaching ministry. Seven reasons why listening to tapes will transform your preaching ministry. And um, seven reasons why you should teach your leaders. We've done all of that today. And we are blessed. Amen. So we're going to take a break at 7.30. And we're going to come back at 9.30 for the final session of the camp. Or we should just go for one hour so that we close early. Yes. So 8.30, then we come back for an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, and then we're done. I don't see why we should close late. One session. And you're all going to come with a special offering. But before that, I'm going to take an offering now. Let's just thank him for a blessed session, blessed time. your name on. Bless your name. We love you, Jesus. We want to see you. We want to see you, Jesus. This is different from your final. Come on, play, play, play. This is different from your final um, offering that you're going to give. Be careful, please play and play properly. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take another offering of 100 galaxies. Now, I'm going to take a special anointing offering. As a seed into your pastoral ministry of 20 galaxies at the next session is the only offering I'll take at the next session. Everybody should have a 20. It's different from what I'm doing now, different from any other offering. That's why I told you at the beginning. But now, I want us to take an offering of 100 galaxies. Can somebody bring a basket? All right, come if you want to give 100 galaxies. Holy Ghost. Is the, the number we are using is the number on the screen. No other number is an offering. You have given it somewhere else. That's also a blessing. But this is the offering we are taking here. I know. Make sure you see the mobile number on the screen and make sure you give it. Fall on me. God for 30 people. How many do I have? 10, 13. All right. Now, Holy Spirit, move me now. Spirit, move.
wave after wave.
Oh yes, 1,000 Ghana cities. Come quickly. You are here. Come. 1,000 Ghana cities. Come. Taking a special offering of 1,000 Ghana cities. I feel the Holy Spirit asking me to do it. Come. There are two of you. Come to me. Stand here. 1,000 Ghana cities. Good. Beautiful. Lift your hands. Extraordinary wealth and provision. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Someone's womb open. Five hundred galaxies. Somebody's womb is open. Five hundred galaxies. To me. Stretch out your hands, guys. Stretch out your hands. Your right hand.
It's all over you, my dear. Put the oil on your head. Yes. Raising you up. It's raising you up higher than you can raise yourself. Yes. 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 Romotike ne mechiando saprenange se saprenange se saprenange se kaprenange se fobregada se pranige se pata mahadia kisa atia sarapati asa akamata yes be blessed beyond where you stand now be lifted higher beyond where you walk now be taken to a higher plane a higher plane a higher place higher place, a higher place. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power of God, what man cannot do, what your hand cannot do for yourself, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Your hands are anointed. Your hands are anointed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you can't go back to your seat, if not, I just learn to leave people on the floor. The Holy Spirit is working on them. Just leave them. Holy Spirit, don't don't move people and Lord, don't do that. Just allow me, please. That's Sarah. Come, come, come. Come, come. Put the oil on your head. Put the oil on your head. Be blessed. Be anointed. Be anointed. Be anointed. Be above ordinary by the power of God. By the oil. Above ordinary. What a blessed blessing. It's yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, taking one final offering before we close. Are you angry with my offering? Just checking. I want you to uh, give me your change. Yeah, give, 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 give me your change. I want, to, I want the church to use it. I think it's a blessing to give God your change. So, I'm going to ask all of you to find your change. Or I should let you get it from your room. No, I won't take it here. Whatever change you have on you, just change, change. One city, two city coins, whatever. Just some change, some changes, bits and pieces. Ashes, you're going to receive that one. Ashes, you're going to receive that one. Change, just one change. Change. Lift up your offerings. Lift it up, lift it up. Me. Up. There's a cloud. You just lift your hand into the cloud. Spirit move.
see the number Solve it, please, John Dark. Solve it. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit in this place. Move by your spirit in this place. Move by your spirit in this place. to have this every morning in your room. Yeah. I want you to have personal time with him. you be in the room and you can feel that you're not alone. I want you to have this every morning. I want you to have this every morning. It's yours. It's presence. He wants to be your friend. Yeah, I prefer to have a, past- a church full of pastors who are close to God. I want to be with you in this place. In this place. I want to be with you. In this place. Have your way. I want to be with you. go to Gilgal that we may renew the kingdom there. Gilgal is the place of renewal. We are in Gilgal. We are being renewed, renovated. I want to be with you.